And getting a live look outside in Belleville right now, many people may be getting outside, maybe even doing some yard work. And if you're one of them, you might want to be on the lookout. Invasive species are here in Metro Detroit, and they are attacking your plants, hedges, and trees. This morning, we're joined by Caitlin Spalwiski. Did I get that right? Sabloski. She is an educator <laughs> at the Michigan State Extension, part of the Greenhouse and Floriculture Extension. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Happy first, to be here. First thing I noticed, you have brought a display here. Yes. What are we looking at? Uh, this is the spotted lanternfly, actually, okay. and it shows all the different life stages. Oh. Um, aside from the egg masses, which are what is kind of out there now. Um, you actually won't see any of these in the landscape yet, but they'll start showing up uh, once we get further into late June, July, that's when you'd start to see this tiny little pinprick okay. beside this okay. tiny little pinprick. That's the first instar is what they call it. Um, and then you'll start to see the larger sizes. And then later in the season, um, we'll see the beautiful uh, adults. Beautiful <laughs> but off. problematic. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What should we be on the lookout for? You had an interesting list when we're doing our yard work or, you know, out and about. Yeah. So um, with spotted lantern fly, you're going to want to be on the lookout for actually um, this stuff called honeydew. So if you notice sticky residue underneath trees, mm. um, sometimes it'll grow what's called sooty mold, um, more of a nuisance for okay. homeowners uh, with that pest. Um, the real uh, you know, thing to worry about in our area of Metro Detroit these days is the box tree moth. Okay. Um, boxwood is a very popular landscape plant. Um, probably one of the most popular. Uh, Did not in, know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's an evergreen plant. It's very trimmable. People will make hedges for it. Um, it's also oh, I can picture it now. deer resistant, which ah. is a big uh, factor for folks in our area. Um, and so there's a lot of boxwood in the landscape and there's a new pest called the box tree moth. Okay. Um, that and actually that? moved into Michigan in, in 2022, but we are seeing a lot of it this season as it spreads. It's actually in 13 counties within really? Michigan now. And what are the telltale signs? So you'll see rapid defoliation of okay. plants. They'll actually eat all of the leaves oh, no. and leave just that like central vein kind of gives the plant um, these little curly cues you, yeah. you'll see. Um, but really you'll see the loss of leaves. Um, one of the photos that I um, ha that we had up there shows a plant that you that has a kind of brown or scorched look okay. because it's had so much feeding on it this season. Does it happen rapidly? It does. It does. If there are a lot of the caterpillars on the plants um, in Europe where this pest um, hit first, it's actually native to parts of Asia. Hmm. But in Europe, they've been dealing with it for quite some time now and plants can be defoliated in a matter of weeks. Oh, wow. Are our climate's a little bit different than yes. Europe, um, yeah. so really, um, we the most quickly we've seen that happen here in North America is within a few months. Okay, but so that's concerning. Yes, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Even if you have just a few caterpillars, you'll see your plants decline and, and probably die out in the course of a couple of years. So what is your recommendation if you're starting to see some of these telltale signs, what should you do? Well, a lot of folks are treating their plants. There are some treatment options, but I will say that a lot of homeowners that don't want to deal with that are just pulling out their boxwoods and Aww. removing them. And we have a great list of alternative options for the landscape. That, that are deer resistant? Some of them are deer resistant. I heard the sigh though. <laughs> I heard the sigh. <laughs> some of them are deer resistant. Um, we wanted to throw some options in there. Yeah. It's kind of hard to find a perfect uh, right. replacement for boxwood, but um, we have a great chart so that you can consider different factors like lighting, soil conditions, plant hardiness zone um, in our publication that's through MSU Extension. Is this a situation where it's here now and it's going to be a, we have to deal with it one way or the other? Yes, hmm. that is the situation. As with most invasive species, we're really not trying to eradicate them aside from the outer perimeters, which box tree moth is not uh, throughout the entire state of Michigan. Like I said, there's a quarantine zone of 13 counties at okay. the moment. 
Um, Are any of them in Metro Detroit? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so check out our map online, but um, Wayne, Washtenaw, Oakland is where we've had the most reports. Really? Yeah. So um, And only since 2022. Yes. It's, it's spreading very rapidly. Um, we do think that some of the spread is due to people disposing of infested plants improperly. So hmm. that's the other thing homeowners okay. should take note of is if they are pulling out boxwoods, we recommend that those plants are double bagged and put out with the municipal trash rather than your yard waste. They're that hardy? Yes. Like if you were even, like one bag's not enough. Right. Well, wow. and, and when you're dealing with woody type plants, you can get sticks poking through. True. Very good point. Leaf litter falling yep. out. So yep. just to be safe, we recommend double bagging those plants. If you're a landscaper, you have other options such as treating the plants first, putting them through a chipper, um, or in some places you might have the option to burn, but you need to check your mun municipal codes on that. I'm thinking of all <laughs> those movies where the scientists are sounding the alarm and everybody else is just going about their life. Uh, since this invasive species came in in 2022, I mean, are you seeing similar effects from other uh, invasive species, like just how quickly things are spreading sure. or deteriorating? Yeah, so a few years back, we saw our first cases of lily leaf beetle or scarlet leaf beetle um, that affects Easter lilies, Asiatic lilies, Oriental lilies, fritillaries. Does not affect day lilies, so people can... Oh, thank goodness. The yeah, grab lilies. a sigh of relief for yes, that. Yeah. Um, but pretty rapidly in the Detroit metro area, actually, um, you know, plant, people have lost their lily plants and, um, you know, really can't plant them anymore because of how rapidly that pest um, has spread and kind of um, gotten set up in the landscape. Well, thank you for sort of, you know, bringing this to our attention and sounding the alarm because if it's spreading this quickly and even how you um, get rid of it could also be a part of the problem. Yeah. It's a good information for folks to have. Absolutely. Thank you, Caitlin. Yeah, thanks for having me.